Okay, welcome to today's video everyone. Assume cos 3 theta equals 4 cos cubed theta minus 3 cos theta. Find in terms of pi the exact values of the solutions of x cubed minus 3x minus 1 equals 0. Okay, so the first thing that we should look at is that we have a an, an equation to solve and we're given this fact here. So we know we're going to somehow need to use this fact when we're trying to solve this because that questions will never give you pieces of information for no reason. So we know we're going to have to use this. And another thing that you can notice is that here we have a cos cubed, cos cubed, and here we have cos to the 1. Now here we have x cubed, and here we have x to the 1. So this might suggest that there's some sort of relationship going on here. Okay, so this is what we're trying to solve. So let's write it down. Okay, now the first thing that we're going to do is since there's this relationship that we've sort of identified, we're going to probably think to let x equal cos theta. But when we do this, you'll see that we have a 3 cos theta as we have here. But here we're going to have just cos cubed theta and not 4 cos cubed theta. So we're off by some constant out the front. So we can say, let x equal k cos theta. And then we'll try to determine this value of k. So let x equal k cos theta. And so here we're going to have k cos theta all cubed. minus 3 times k cos theta minus 1 equals 0. Okay, so we're going to get k cubed cos cubed theta minus 3k cos theta. And let's just bring this 1 to the other side. So this is equal to 1. Okay, so now we have an expression of the form with cos cubed theta and cos theta in it. Now we want to find a value of k so that this expression is the same or can be made the same as this expression. So we want k cubed cos cubed theta minus 3k cos theta. We want this equal to 4 cos cubed theta minus 3 cos theta. Okay, so we're solving for k here. Now we can just take ratios of these coefficients. So let's take a ratio of these coefficients. So we're going to have k cubed over 4 is going to be equal to negative 3k over negative 3. And the reason we do this is because if we want this to these two to be equal, we need to find k so that this is in ratio with this. Okay, so now let's go ahead and solve for k. Now these minus 3's will cancel and we'll be left with k cubed equals, and we bring up the 4 will be 4k. So we're going to have k cubed minus 4k equals 0. And when we solve this, we can get k into k squared minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, clearly, having k equal to 0, that's not going to help us out here. So we're not going to consider this case. We're just going to consider k squared minus 4 is equal to 0. So we can say, therefore, k is equal to plus or minus 2. Now, it turns out it doesn't matter which whether you use 2 or negative 2 as your value of k because in the end, they'll give you the same answers. So, just for simplicity in this video, I'll just choose my k to be equal to 2. So, not let, maybe choose k equal to 2. But it definitely gives you the same solutions if you have k equals to minus 2. So, you might want to check that after we go through this video, just to convince yourself. Okay, so if we choose k equal to 2, what do we have now? So I'm substituting it back into this expression here. We're going to have 2 cubed, which is 8, 
cos cubed theta minus 3 times 2, which is 6 cos theta is equal to 1. Okay. Now, we can factor out a 2 from here so that we'll have this expression here. So when we factor out a 2, we're going to get 4 cos cubed theta minus 3 cos theta is equal to 1. And now you'll see that we can apply this given fact here into this question. So we're going to have 2. This was given to us as cos 3 theta is equal to 1. And now our problem becomes solving cos 3 theta equal to a half. Now we're going to need three solutions because, or three different solutions, because this is a degree 3 polynomial. Okay, so we're trying to find three solutions now. So we're going to have to solve this. And the way we solve this, if you remember back to your three note maths where you learned the general solutions to a trig equation such as this one, this is going to be 3 theta is equal to cos inverse of a half, it's plus or minus cos inverse of a half, plus 2k pi. Okay, now, what's cos inverse of a half? Well, if you put it into your calculator, or you might know, it's 60 degrees, or pi on 3 radians. And we like to work with radians here. So it's pi on 3 radians, plus 2k pi. Alright, let's solve for theta now. So we're going to have plus or minus pi over 9, plus 2k pi over 3. Alright. So, let's just move that up. So, and let's maybe write this a little bit neater. Get a common denominator. Plus or minus pi plus 6 k pi over 9. And we can factor out a pi and get 6 k plus or minus 1 times pi over 9. Move that up. Okay, and, oh, I forgot to mention up here that k was an integer. Alright, so you should probably write it in each step that you have k, but I'll just write it in these two steps. So, k is an integer. Alright, so our solutions for our polynomial were of the form x equals k cos theta, but we decided that our k was going to be 2, so it's, they're going to be 2 cos theta, but what's theta? Theta is this angle here. So, we're going to have 6k plus or minus 1 over 9 times pi, where k is an integer. Okay. Now, <clears throat> we need three solutions. And you can see, for every integer value, every value that you put in, you're going to get two solutions, because we have this plus or minus here. So the obvious things to choose would be k equal to 0 and 1. These are the two simplest numbers to substitute into this. So, let's go ahead and do that. When k is equal to 0, we're going to get x equals 2 times cos of plus or minus 1 over 9. So, 1 over 9 times pi. So, we're going to have plus or minus pi over 9. Now, before we go ahead and do k equal to 1, you should know that cos is an even function. And so, cos of plus or minus pi on 9, well, this plus case and this minus case, they're actually the same thing. So really, when we get k equal to 0, this is only giving us one solution. And that solution is 2 cos pi on 9. Right, so we can say since cos of x is even. Okay, so cos of pi on 9 and cos of minus pi on 9, they're the same thing. So this is only really giving us one solution. 
but this is one of the solutions that we're looking for. Okay, let's go ahead and put in 1. So when k is equal to 1, we're going to get x equals, now let's just take the plus case here, so it's going to be 6 times 1 plus 1, so that'll be 2 cos 6 plus 1 is 7, pi over 9, and we get x equals 2 cos, let's take the minus case, so 6 times 1 is 6, minus 1 is 5, so 5 pi over 9. Okay, and these three are our solutions to the equation. So we can say, therefore, the solutions, and now these solutions are in exact form as the question requested. So the solutions are x equals 2 cos pi on 9, 2 cos 5 pi on 9, and 2 cos 7 pi on 9. And that's the final answer. So, the trick here was to realize how we're going to incorporate this given fact into this question. And since we could see that we weren't going to be able to incorporate it without if we were to substitute x equals cos theta, we wouldn't get it straight away. So we had to put in this value of k here, which was a factor altering constant. So this is important. You might want to note this step, substituting x equals k cos theta instead of x equals cos theta. Okay, and that's how you do this question. Now I suggest you try out with k equal to minus 2. You'll realize that you'll get the exact same solutions, just different algebraic um, processes from this step onwards. Okay, thanks for watching.